If you see these DWP signs it could mean you're being investigated for benefit fraud. Hey there, UK Times viewers. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something that could be affecting thousands of people across the UK. Asterisk benefit fraud investigations. If you've noticed certain warning signs from the Department for Work and Pensions, you could be under investigation, and trust me, you'll want to know what to look out for. Could your benefits be at risk? Let's break down the key signs that could indicate you're being investigated for fraud. From unexpected letters to unannounced home visits, we'll cover the red flags you need to be aware of and how to respond if you think you're being watched. Plus, we'll share what you should never do if you think you're under investigation and how you can protect yourself. Before we dive into these warning signs, we want to hear from you. Have you or someone you know ever dealt with a DWP investigation? Drop a comment below with your experience or even just your thoughts on how benefit fraud investigations are handled. Your insight could really help others. According to the Department for Work and Pensions own statistics, benefit fraudsters are costing the UK millions of pounds each year. This has led to increased scrutiny around eligibility putting pressure on some claimants to prove their entitlement to payments. However, the DWP's surveillance capacity is limited, particularly when a claimant isn't actively under investigation. If suspicions of benefit fraud arise, claimants are usually alerted relatively quickly, often triggering an investigation. On rare occasions, the department may conduct a random check. For the financial year ending 2024, DWP data reveals that 3.7%, £9.70 billion, of total benefit expenditure was overpaid due to fraud and error. The Fraud, Error and Debt Bill aims to tackle this issue by granting investigators new powers, such as requiring banks and financial institutions to share data that could indicate potential benefit overpayments, including highlighting savings. Until these measures are implemented, under the current system, a person suspected of fraud will be contacted by either the DWP, HMRC, Defense Business Services or their local authority, depending on the type of benefits claimed and the seriousness of the allegations. During the investigation process, benefits may be temporarily halted, with a letter sent to explain this if necessary. If you find yourself in a pickle due to benefit issues or a stoppage whilst under review, the experts at Citizens Advice recommend reaching out to an advisor to check what other financial help might be up for grabs. People facing allegations of benefit fraud could end up chatting with a fraud investigations officer or landing an interview under caution, they could be used in court and are about digging into your personal situation. For advice on how to handle these sticky situations, you can knock on the door of either a solicitor's office or Citizens Advice. How long will the probing take? JD solicitors reckon it varies from a few months to potentially years if it's a real headache, but some cases, if they're less complicated, wrap up in just weeks. Just remember, a hiccup in your benefits or a letter asking for info doesn't always mean you're being investigated it's pretty standard for the DWP to do routine checks to ensure everyone. In a bit of a game changer, new rules hand the DWP the power to ask banks for deets on specific accounts during their sleuthing which helps them check if someone should get certain benefits without peeking into the bank account itself. They might want proof, like a doctor's note saying your condition is steady or bills that show who's bunking at your place. If you're claiming universal credit, be prepared to provide copies of your passport and tenancy agreement or even snap a selfie outside your home. For more information on the procedure, if you're suspected of benefit fraud, click here. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. And please don't forget like, share and comment.